Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and I don't mean to have videos here on YouTube Today I wanted to talk about my experience with antidepressants different antidepressants and different combinations of antidepressants but before we get into this video I should clarify that I have bipolar disorder so antidepressants don't generally work anyway getting on with the video first antidepressant that I ever tried was fluoroxetine also known as Prozac I had issues with Prozac it made me really shaky so shaky that I couldn't function I had to have time off college because of that medication and it was Cam's who actually told me to stop taking it. Prozac also induced me into a manic episode, which just wasn't great. I got the idea that I could complete an entire assignment in a day, when it was a, a, a three week long essay. The second antidepressant I tried was citalopram. So the Halloran had a similar effect, it didn't make me shaky but it did make me manic. I was working at the time because I, I did a seasonal job. It made me unbear unbearable to be around because I'd just talk and 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 everyone hated me for it. I'd hate me for it. I still got paid then. The small things. The next antidepressant I tried was sertraline. Now sertraline didn't make me manic. It made me depressed. It launched me into a depression. When I said it, it made me into a depressive episode, I mean full on depression. It just wasn't great. It made me... It made me suicidal. And that medication was the first one that I overdosed on. So sertraline was not a good mix for me. Next up we have metazapine. And metazapine helped me with my sleep. Sleep's been a problem for me my entire life. I've always had problems sleeping. They've just got worse as I've like, got older. Metazapine did help me sleep. However, it, it did nothing for my mood. It didn't get me out of that depressive, depressive episode. And I was on that when I started uni. When I started uni, I was on metazapine. Back in 2016. Wow. I've been, I've been doing uni for a long time. Jesus, this is gonna be my sixth year. Oh my god. But yeah, it didn't get me out of the dress episode. So again, I did overdose on it. Luckily, metazapine is a very safe medication. Like, if you overdose on it, it's not harmful, really. I'm not saying go and overdose on it, I'm just saying it's not le as lethal as other medications. I got hospitalised for that. And they switched me back to surgery while I was impatient and then just pushed me to further down. I was already at rock bottom but it just, it felt even worse. So they stopped that. And for a brief time I was off for antidepressants. And in that time I got myself back up and functioning. Then the next uni year, so 2017, I was started on Venlafaxine. Now Venlafaxine for me was okay. I took it for four years. And I had no significant side effects of it. It helped my mood a bit. It made me a bit more cheery to be around. It didn't change my life or anything. It's not a lifesaver, but it didn't send me back. It didn't send me depressed. And when I moved down to London, and I got hospitalised. So I overdosed on an antipsychotic. I got hospitalised and I was in Milton Keynes. I got started on trazodone alongside the venom vaccine then, which helped a bit. The trazodone made me very sleepy. Then she has moved back to London and they stopped the trazodone. So I was only on it for a short period of time. Then as an amitri I feel like amitriptyline as an antidepressant. I was on 50 milligrams of amitriptyline. It helped with my sleep massively. However, it made me very slow. 
me feeling slowed down like too slow down to function and do normal things i was basically in bed all the time i think we moved to the last year while i was inpatient i got started on vortioxetine which has helped a bit again not massively it's not been a life changer but it has helped and i still say that to this day for me the only life saver two life saver medications that i take the first is haloperidol the second would be lithium and they're my life changing medication so yeah there are lots of different antidepressants and different types of antidepressants for people to try and when i make videos like this my intention is purely to share my experience not to put people off trying this is just what i went through so don't be afraid if your doctor recommends one of the medications i spoke about just because i had a bad experience of it doesn't mean that you will i know plenty of people who take all the medications that i've mentioned and they're doing amazing Medication is a game of hail and error. Medication is not a one size fits all. If it was, we wouldn't have people in psychiatric hospitals. So if your doctor recommends something, try it. You never know, it could change things for you. It could change your life. I know for me when with lithium, when it was first mentioned, I was very reluctant to try it again. I'd had a bad experience with it in the past. But when I did try it and it was done properly, it increased gradually, not just whack on the whole dose. It worked really well for me. Lithium changed my life. And that's why my message to you is an antidepressant could change your life. So don't lose hope. Thank you for watching this video. And if you're new, subscribe. We just hit 6k and I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.